like this automatically levels up like you don't have to like relearn a new one you know all right so we're gonna go to Fairbreeze Village and help out uh, Ranger the Galien mm. yeah having this little roadster it helps a lot it saves a lot of time And that's from uh, buying, uh, I think, 35 heirlooms. Uh, and of course, it, it works uh, it, uh, as long as you've got an heirloom. Like, it counts for uh, Horde and Alliance now, so yay for that. Because it used to be you had to buy, uh, like, before it had, like, that really nifty interface, you actually had to have those. So. But all of this stuff goes up to all the way to, uh, yeah, see I almost went with that, but uh, all this will go up to level 90, so we won't have to upgrade it for quite some time. Uh, and of course my staff goes up to 100, so sweet. Um, but we still have to worry about these uh, pesky uh, other slots, so. I can't believe we're almost to level 10, and I've not really been playing that long, I don't think. Uh, nice, they added a flight path down a here, so... Uh, the reckoning is makes quest and go by really quick. Uh, Alright. We'll actually do these in order. The dark times will Thanks pass. for coming. Things are worse than we had anticipated. The Wretched have taken over Sunsail Anchorage in its entirety. The reckoning is at hand. Sunsail Anchorage has been overrun by wretched scum and villainy, maybe. As soon as we've managed to get reinforcements to the area, we'll show those thugs who's boss. In the meantime, you can help by showing them a bit of discipline. Go in there and show them we are not to be trifled with. All right. We will have justice. A new Bellore Delinar. South Rails Haven. I swear that I'm going to fireball someone if I get one more request from Lord Satharil concerning supplies for his party. Do I look like a party planner? Between you and me, that fool and his sycophants are living in denial that we're under attack here. Some of us are actually busy with, oh, I don't know, defending what's left of our of Quelthalas. Warlock, would you please head over to Seth Rills Haven and see if you can shut him up? It's just down the road to the west. Hold your head high. Thank you for your help. While I get things back in order here, I'd like to ask you for a favor. One of my former apprentices embarked on a very dangerous line of research. She's yearning to the east, Sanctum, in the middle of the Dead Scar. I worry for her well-being. Okay. Remember the sun well. We were just there. Do not loiter. Uh, don't take the safety of this village for granted. We're under siege by the Scourge on the east and the Wretched on to the west. Ranger Sarian keeps our border safe from the undead that pour in from the Dead Scar. Follow the road eastwards out of town and see if you can lend her a hand. Shirelle are on. Our enemies oh, will fall. Uh, foul taint in the soil precedes the expansion of the Scourge into a new area. The protective runestones along the border with the Ghostlands have warded the land against this taint in the past. The westernmost runestones were restored during a scourge attack, which forced us to burn the ground around it to prevent the taint from spreading. My sister watches over the scourged grove. Okay. The reckoning is so we're getting a lot of quests to go elsewhere. Welcome. We're running low on supplies here, but Silvermoon has promised us material assistance. Uh, take this list over to Skymaster Bright Dawn. Okay. That's the obligatory. Um, learn how to use the uh, uh, flight paths. So we'll do that in one second.
the eternal sun guides us. Spring paw that inhabit this region are known for their high quality pelts. Okay. Our skirmishes with the Amani, which are trolls, put a bit of a strain on our supply of gear and our rangers. I don't have much time to hunt for pelts anymore. If you'd be willing to lend a hand by collecting spring paw pelts, okay. Keep your wits about you. So we'll do this, and then I'll kind of show you a little bit of Silverman City. Baladash, Malanore. All right. Uh, for a very modest amount. Uh, okay. okay. Remember the sun well. Death to all who oppose. Death. Okay. So a lot of these. See, these are actually. There's only one quest actually. Um, actually, maybe two. Yeah, I've only got two quests to actually do anything, and the rest of these are go to a, a new quest hub. But so there's not actually a um, a flight path in the city. This is the only flight path, which is kind of weird, um, I guess. Or it's odd to me. Because um, I'm trying to think of another... Um, another city that's like that. Alright, so this is Silvermoon City. It's really nice architecture, and here's like the little horde, uh, like the ambassadors from all the factions. I'm surprised they've not added a, uh, uh, a goblin in there. But yeah, it's it's really, really big, but it's really empty too. Um, oh well. So here's a nice little shortcut, um, which a lot of the ends are like this, uh, especially the buildings um, along the like this little strip here. And I think there's one here too that's like a cut through. But, <clears throat> but the first time I did this, I didn't know about it, and I had to go like a uh, around the long way. And I was like, "Holy cow, that's way too far!" And then like I figured it out. Choose wisely. <clears throat> that's quite a list you have there, friend. Uh, let me take a look at it. What's this? Sathiel wants all of this. Did you bring anyone with you to help take it back? No. <sighs> Oh, 50 quest. Doesn't look like, it doesn't look as if you have a cart or a beast of burden with you. So I better send you back only with what you can carry. If you've spoken with the Skymaster of Brightnon at Fair Breeze, then you should get this to Sathiel as soon as possible by flying back. All right. Hold your head high. Now, if you want to make uh, Silvermoon City like your home base, I mean, you can recommend it because there's nothing here um, uh, here is the auction house uh, so. represent here's the bank and I'm not even gonna uh, what's that look like on her uh, fairly terrible. Oh, well. The uh, level 100 elite Torin chieftains. If you don't know who those people are, uh, you should probably look them up on the internet. They're a metal band that plays uh, Warcraft themed music and they are amazing. <clears throat> I mean, if you like metal, which, I mean, how could you not? It's awesome. What business have you? 
Be ready for anything. Alrighty. Back to Fairbreeze. This could not be a very comfortable ride. It just seems like you'd get very seasick. Ooh, plus two rested bonus. Okay, so there's plenty of uh, spring paw stalkers around. I think there's some uh, going the direction that we're wanting to go anyway. What do you seek? Be ready for anything. Whew. Man, that's making like chunks of uh, experience. So, something that actually kind of humorous happened um, a couple of days ago. My computer chair broke. <laughs> uh, so, I'm actually... Um, oh, wow. How did I not get to... Uh, uh, so, it's, it's like uh, very unsteady. <laughs> so, uh, it's probably in the morning, which it's Sunday night now. Uh, I'm going to uh, try and go find me a new computer chair, uh, and uh, I'm going to try and find a a gaming mouse, uh, one with like the buttons Sindora. on the side. Ah, good of Magistrix Donstrider to finally respond to my simple request. She take up the matter of her attitude with the Regent Lord in Silvermoon. She's quite rude. Nothing for you to worry about. Your little head over. Now that you're here, maybe I'll finally be able to get those party supplies I've been waiting for. Farewell. Uh. So I need to find. Um. Uh, stuff. Chorello Ron. For him. Um. Ah, uh, there's only three things, so that's that's not gonna take too long. But first we'll do, uh, grab some more pelts and go down here and take care of this little issue down here. I've been looking at the, um, the Naga gaming mouse. There's, um, the Naga MMO. Um, I looked at that. It's got, uh, like a, a number pad. I think there's like eight or ten pieces Anaga or Shola. buttons on it. Uh, it's a little bit more ergonomic. Um, yeah, I, I've been thinking about getting that. The Wretched right grow bolder every day. Uh, they've achieved enough coordination to launch an attack on Sunsail Anchorage. So if that weren't embarrassing enough, most of our weapons were left behind when they attacked. Seriously? Remember the sun well. Our enemies will fall. Thank goodness for you, Warlock. Those slimy, grim-scale murlocs have pirated away my cargo. It's bad enough that the wretched have stolen what little magical goods I had, but the murlocs took the rest. What does this land come to? Alright, so I'm stealing yes, stuff back for a pirate. Alright, so there's... Wretched. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun to do that. <laughs> so later on, there's a... Um, I think there's a... Oh, wait, maybe that's a uh, uh, Shadow Priest. Like their dots heal them. I think it's a Shadow Priest. But... Uh, I was going to say, if that happens, like, it's on. 
totally. But yeah, the, uh, the gaming mouse thing, um, I've been kind of looking at that for a while. Um, Because I, I basically have a very, very basic um, two-button mouse, uh, like a Walmart special, which is kind of embarrassing. Well, I mean, not, not embarrassing per se, but uh, and I think I can climb up here. Falcon Wing Square is under attack. Hmm. Uh, okay, we're we'll just gonna keep trucking along this way. So we don't have to kill any more wretched, or at least not that kind. Ooh, but that is a chest. Let's see what we got. Cross your fingers. Nothing! Gotta kill a bunch of Murlocs. I think I actually get, uh, yeah, there's a, a chance to get, uh, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Captain Kelsindra's Lost Rudders. Interesting. What you have found here is a waterproofed leather tube containing a number of sheets of parchment. By the markings on them, 